Osteoporosis is a degenerative disease where bone in the human body begins to lose mass and becomes weak and brittle, which in turn increases the risk of fractures. Approximately 10 million men and women in the United States suffer from osteoporosis. Osteoporosis was once believed to be a wear and tear disease, but research over the past decade has shown that there is a significant immunological aspect to osteoporosis. Osteoporosis occurs when there is an imbalance of bone turnover, where osteoclast activity is greater than osteoclast activity, which in turn leads to bone loss. Many studies have shown that the activity of osteoblast and osteoclast formation are controlled by the regulation of cytokines. Cytokines such as TNF-alpha, rank ligand and interleukins promote bone resorption. In osteoporosis, these cytokines are produced too much and begin to degrade bone and make it weak and brittle. Evidence from animal and in vitro studies suggests that increases in these cytokines promote bone resorption through several mechanisms, including increasing osteoclast differentiation, activation and survival, and inhibiting osteoblast survival. Nanoparticles have been researched extensively in the past decade as they can increase the absorption of drugs due to their small size and are very useful in improving the bioavailability of water in soluble drugs. Curcumin has shown promise to be the future in preventing osteoporosis. Curcumin is a yellow pigment compound extracted from the roots of turmeric plant, which is often used in Asian cuisine. The incidence of osteoporosis related hip fractures has been found to be significantly lower in southern and eastern Asian women than in western women. Many studies have shown that curcumin is able to prevent and regulate the production of these cytokines, meaning that curcumin can potentially reduce the detrimental effects that osteoporosis has. One study in 2008 by French et al. investigated the effects of curcumin on ovary ectomizing female rats. They quantified the initial bone mineral density at the spine and the femur and at 2, 4 and 6 months after ovary ectomy in a sample size of 40 rats. Results showed that at the highest dose of curcumin, which was 15 mg a day, significant improvement in the size of the femur was observed after 6 months of administration. In 2019, Yang and Zeng carried out a study on rats. Curcumin showed inhibition of TNF-alpha, interleukin-1 beta, and interleukin-6. Expression of synovial fluid inflammatory biomarkers, interleukin-6, interleukin-1 beta, and TNF-alpha in the osteoarthritis and curcumin group were lower than that in the osteoarthritis and osteoarthritis and PBS group. In 2004, another study by Barty, Takada and Agarwal showed that the treatment of these cells with rank ligand activated NF-beta and pre-exposure of the cells to curcumin completely suppressed rank ligand induced NF-beta activation.